Hello, bar haters, and welcome to another Find Me Hate Parts Let's Play. I'm Ben, and this is Fire Emblem. Last time, we dealt with the uh, magic seal in the middle of the forest, and now we are finally, at long last, at the Dragon's Gate. And as I said, this is a hell of a level. It may not look like much at first, because um, individually, especially if you um, press Enter here, it doesn't look like there are that many enemies, um, but most of them are clumped together, like this clump right over here, which by the way has a healer, as well as these five guys, which have a boss there. Oh, did I mention? There's actually two bosses in this level. You have Cameron, who will move, and Darren, who will not. And, yeah, this level's a bit of a pain. Especially because there's a thief we can recruit here, but he generally moves too fast for us to do so. So we're going to try and get him recruited. And my basic strategy is going to be, uh, I would have Lin here, but you can't, you can't move her from her starting position. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to move her over and, uh, you know, put her up this way, because I'm going to want Hector to go this way anyway. I'm also going to have Canis go this way. Basically, it's Sane, Matthew, Irk, and why do I have Bartray going this way? Did I want Bartray going this way? I don't think that I did. Actually, you know what? Yeah, uh, might as well send him this way. There's a lot of, um... Because these guys are... He's not really going to be helpful that many other places, especially with what's his nuts over here. I'm going to be sending Oswin there as well. <clears throat> you know what? Screw it. Fiora's going that way. Um... Because I think... Oh wait, no, there's there's bows. Fiora's not going that way then. Uh, Fiora will go this way, and she's going to help. I was going to say, she'd be useful against, like, cavalry? But actually, it'd be more useful against knights. Uh, she has that weapon. Uh, the steel, or the heavy spear. So. Yep, I think that's going to be what I do. And I can either send... Right. Changing my mind again. I'm going to send Guy that way. Ooh, I didn't want to do that. Come on. There we go. So, now, save it again. And we'll deploy Merlinus another time. This time it should be okay, because no one ever goes back to the area you were. <clears throat> and yep, we brought Sane with us, because we're going to need a, a cavalry unit to go this way. But not near the front. Not right away. Because Cameron, the thing about him, he has a special weapon called the Halberd. And it gets, you know, a lot of damage against cavalry. So Satan's a bad choice to go up there. Instead, we're going to send Oswin to, uh, up to the front as a tank. Uh, so that's going to be, he's going to be the guy who's going to do most of it for the first half of this level. As for Hector, he should be able to kill this guy pretty easily. That's the nice thing about the Wolf Bale, is it gives massive bonus against any and all infantry units. He's not good against, uh, Cavaliers, but, uh, everything else, he's freaking bamf against. Then Oswin will need to go in front of him. Matthew will open the door. Um, Sane will actually... Ah, yes, Sane I meant, ha meant to have go this way. Sane's gonna need to tank this arrow hit, and then help me kill all of these guys. Lin will go in after him, Urk will go in as far as he can, and I'm going to send Guy in as well. Because realistically speaking, I'm not going to need much more than Oswin and Hector to deal with any of these guys. Oswin, Hector, and maybe Kamas. But I'm going to send other people with them, just in case. Hmm, do I want to send Will to the right? Because I mean, realistically speaking, there aren't a lot of people over here, overall, because... They're all just clumped in one area, but then this hallway is entirely clear, pretty much. And then you have these guys who I can just have Urk kill, or I can send Sane after him. There's a bunch of ways I can do that. Elwood's definitely going to go this way. I'm gonna, I know that for a fact. Um, Bartray I'll put right here with his Steel Axe. But actually, no, the Iron Axe will work fine. Um, and then I think I'm going to have Elwood up here. Because the thing is, I'm basically going to ignore this chest and this guy by it. Because I don't remember what's in there. I really don't. It I, I might actually be a promotion item. 
but I can't imagine I'll get to that point. So... Right now, we will just leave it. Because this sniper is really tough. Yeah, he has a silver bow, and he is an upgraded unit. So we're gonna we're not gonna send anyone anywhere near that. Especially not our Pegasus Knight. Yeah, I don't know how much damage this would even do. Alternatively, if I had equipped the longbow on uh, on Will, I could have hit him from right here. But I didn't do that. Although, Merlinus. Really, really tempted now to try and do this. I mean I wouldn't I know what I'm gonna do. Will, you have a purpose now. You didn't, you really didn't before, but now you do. Longbow, also, where is it? I know I have one. Chest key, there we are. Oh shit, he has a longbow too. Thankfully not a very high uh, hit stat, so. Oh, he used the door key. Oh, that's the worst thing he could have done. I didn't think he was going to do that. So yeah, Legault's the character we can recruit. Um, he's a thief who used to work for the Black Fang and then just is, for reasons, is betraying them. So we can recruit him, but he's going to go over to the right and then down, meaning we need to have our units there first. But additionally, I now need to send a unit back to deal with that. Because <laughs> I was going to have Will deal with it, but I that doesn't seem like an option anymore. Alright, first and most important thing. Do not, whatever you do, do not allow him to get a shot in on your, pet, on your people. That would be bad. Um, <laughs> hmm... So, he has an Iron Sword, that means... Alright, I'm gonna have Oswin just come up and tank for a bit. That, That's gonna be the best strategy I think I, I can come up with. Canis, go help him. You have decent damage and you're ranged. Uh, as for you... You're just gonna stay right here with your uh, rapier, you're not gonna move anywhere. The rest of you are going to work your way down. Sarah, you're going to move up here. That way I can defend you if necessary. You people are going to continue the way you were. So Matthew, you're going to do some damage to him. Irk, you're going to finish him off. Sane, you're going to go over here and prepare to... Uh... Wow, they're all moving. I wasn't expecting... Normally they don't move until you break through this wall. Which admittedly... He's not even trying to do, so I'm not going to worry about it. Lin, go up. Guy, go up. Everyone else, just kind of chill for a minute. Okay. Elwood's not dead, so I can continue. If Elwood had died, we would it would have been game over. Now... Luckily, this guy did something really stupid, which is he came out of his little hidey hole. If he just stayed in there, I wouldn't have been able to do much to him other than plink at him with a longbow. But now that he did this, now that this has happened, and then, this might not finish him off, but I'm going to at least try. Yep. Good job. And Will got a silver bow. Which means that the longbow is going to go back into storage. Because I don't need it quite yet. Alright. You went after Con- Ooh, Connus is going to need some healing from, from that. Uh, just regular heal staff, if you don't mind. And then, Oswin should be able to finish him. Oh, they're all going to come around there, aren't they? This is going to be just one massive brouhaha right here by Oswin. Which admittedly means if Oswin kills enough of him, he will be able I will be able to promote him to general. Which is awesome. As for you guys. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's not really a great way to do this, is there? Either way, someone's gonna take some damage. Um, steel lance, steel... I can only attack once either way, I might as well just use an iron sword, just so I don't waste too much stuff. Uh, Lynn, move up. Matthew, move up. Uh, Earth, move up. Guy, move up. And then you are going to get healed next round. Ooh, he's got an armor slayer! I forgot that was a thing. Yep, Sane took some damage there. How do I want to work this? Do I want to have... I think I might want to have Urk kill this guy. Or kill the wall. And then... Sane can come and deal with this guy. Lynn is going to hold back because I kind of need her th for things. Things and stuff. Then Connus will deal with the bad guy here. And we got an arm. Ooh, we got an armor slayer. That'll be useful. I don't know for who yet, but it'll be useful. What do the rest of these guys have? Steel Lance, Iron Sword, Healer. And then Iron Lance. So not doing too bad. We're uh I haven't lost anyone yet, and Oswin has only taken eight points of damage. As for. Elwood, we're going to heal him up right now. And we're going to keep Fiora back and just move the rest of these guys back to where they were. Will's then going to go over here to get that chest. And we should be good. Um, Admittedly, I'd like to have Matthew out a little bit further, but I don't think I'm going to get that chance. Good news is each of these guys is only going to take one point of damage, so not terrible. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna end it right here and I'm gonna let People are gonna get damaged, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna suck. Alright. Oswald's still doing okay. Sane has not taken a lot of damage. Urk's about to take a little bit. But then he killed off the guy. I love Urk. Urk's such a useful mage. Yep. Fast. I think his, his magical masks, his speed usually, if it doesn't max, it gets close. And Guy has a decent enough defense, he can tank that. Oh, you're gonna do that, are you? Fuck! Oh, damn it. Well, we're gonna have to do this, I guess. Um... As for everyone else... Oh, crap. There's no good way to do that. There is no good way to deal with this. Other than have Oswin back up and use a javelin, which he's going to do. Meantime, where, where's his range? Actually, can I use a silver... I can't use a silver bow! Damn it, what's his, uh, what's his bow skill? C. So it's gonna be a while. What will the steel bow do? Oh! Why was I worried? Barely gonna take any damage at all from this. Actually, he took no damage. Um, but now that Oswin has moved back and Connus is out of the way, we can have Sarah heal Oswin. There we go. Also, do they use... Oh yes, they do use charges. They just don't generally live long enough to completely deplete them. So the gold's right there. Who do I want to have deal with this? Matthew's a decent enough level as it is. I think I'm going to have Guy come over and handle um, this person. Not with a killing edge. No, no, no. We're just going to use a basic steel sword. Or iron, because it'll actually, it'll actually do more damage overall. And he crit! Sweet! And he's going to gain a level from that with speed and defense. Awesome. Then we can just have Sane come down here and do that. Urk won't be able to get there quite yet, but next turn. And then Matthew can move over here. 
And here's hoping that camera doesn't decide to go to the right side as opposed to the left. Other than that, we're good. We are golden. We are in a great place to be right now. Just kind of holding back and waiting for them to come at us. That's actually... This is actually a lot better tactic than I imagined it being. This is normally because... I usually just charge straight forward and then... Oh, more people down there. Yeah, I usually, usually just charge straight forward and try to kill everything in my path. Because then if I fuck up, I can just go back and reload it. But it's amazing how much easier things become when you're being careful. I mean, obviously I still lost like six people so far, but... It's better than I would have done normally. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh god damn it, they're gonna do that, aren't they? They're gonna spawn people behind me in areas I already freaking cleared out. Please don't hurt him. You hurt him. That's what exactly what I told you not to do. Alright, we're gonna move Lin and... Matthew up in there, because then Matthew can loot the chests. Where's Legault going? Is Legault coming over here? Why is Legault coming to this side? He's not supposed to do that. This is interesting. Not really sure what to do with this. I've never had this happen. Also, I don't want to move up too far, because if I do, Cameron will show up. Um, so I think I'm just going to move Elliwood up here. Like that. Ah, Brave Bow! This is awesome! Okay, so the Silver Bow... Actually, I'm going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to send the chess keys back because I don't need them anymore. Here's what Brave Weapons do, just as an FYI. You attack twice. Regardless. Now, the other awesome thing about that is, it's not even just that you attack twice no matter what. It's, if you already attack twice, if your speed is high enough that you get two attacks, you actually get four attacks. Brave Bow, or Brave Weapons, are some of my favorite weapons in the game. Because they don't do quite as much damage per hit, obviously, as uh, Silver Weapons. But they generally do a lot more damage. They also have a slightly lower hit rate than anything else, but generally that's not, that's not a problem. Alright. So he has not moved forward yet. Good news is I have... What's his move rate? I really hope it's enough to get up in front of Elliwood. One, two, three... That is not enough to get up in front of Elliwood. This is gonna hurt. Although, admittedly, I do have a couple turns to do this. If I can get, if I can get freaking Oswin up there, I can then have like a few turns to get up here before Legault leaves. So I'm still, I'm still in okay shape. Oh, I'm not in okay shape down there though. That is a place I'm not in okay shape. Also, does Guy have a vulnerary? No, he does not. I'm gonna need to steal one from somebody. None of these people have vulneraries. Well, Guy, um, I'm actually gonna move him back over here now. Because he needs healing. Um, move Florina, or not Florina, Sarah, back into anticipate his arrival. And they're gonna break through that and come towards me. Fuck. Alright, how much damage will I take if I try to fight this guy? Oh, I'm fine. That's. Yeah, that won't do anything at all to me. Would I rather have an Iron Sword? Would that do better? I'm not going to get two attacks in anyway, so I might as well... I'll just use Steel Sword just so I don't have to burn another Killing Edge, because I'm running low. My Killing Edge is already at 12, which is not ideal. So he did a little bit of damage. As long as he doesn't crit, which it doesn't look like he's going to, uh, we should be okay. Alright, so Matthew, I'm going to have you... What the what? Why would we want to break open that wall? There's nothing down there. Other than a forest. <sighs> Matthew can deal with this guy, okay. Then we're going to have Sane come down and deal with this guy. Yep. 
Ooh, that means Urk can actually come in here and finish this guy off. We're also going to move Lindus back out. Because she has a sword as well, and I don't think anyone else will be able to hit her. Nope. Then we're going to move Sarah up, because these people are starting to take damage on this side. And what? And the thing is, once we clear out Cameron and his buddies, this whole area will be free to travel through, so we can just have them meet up in the center. First I have to clear out all the reinforcements though, and that's going to take me some time. Um... Yep. Alright, so, ooh, neither of them can come after Elowood anymore, so I can move Elowood up here. That's good. That also means I can move Kanis up in preparation. Uh, which is really useful. Uh, this other guy's gonna go up. I don't really need any of them right now, but I will eventually. There he goes! Yeah. Looks like he's gonna do a fair amount of damage to Oswin, even in spite of everything. Which actually isn't that bad, I guess. As long as I can kill him in one turn, we should be okay. <clears throat> Alright. Sarah, please do me a favor and heal up Guy. Thank you. How much damage will I do if I thunder this guy? Oh, I don't know why I was worried. Let's have Urk kill this guy then. Alright, that's gonna happen there. Link and then come down with a steel sword and kill this guy. Saint can kill this guy. Still one more archer down there, but he's only attack 13, so that's fine. And I'm going to save doing that until I have someone to come up and accompany Matthew. As for you... Will Iron Lance give me two attacks? Probably not. I should have figured it wouldn't. Okay, you took some damage, but... You are not going to finish the job. Yep, not a problem. And we'll send the Halberd back to Merlin's. I don't know who's going to use it quite yet, but I'm going to have someone use it. Uh, as for Bartray, ah, ooh, what's this guy using? A lance? Okay, that's fine. In that case, we're going to have... We're going to have both of my axe guys blocking off this path so that he can't get to Elowood. Then we're going to move Elowood up. Ooh, no we're not, because there's a mage there. Oh, support between Hector and Elowin. Might as well do that. Yep, okay. So yep, that means anytime those two are next to each other. Um Oh, it's only gonna tell us that. They get bonuses, I don't remember how much, but it'll It'll be better than fighting alone. And then this guy, and then Ella Wood. He moves in there. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. I might actually need to send Connus up with him. Because otherwise we might have an issue. And we'll have her wait. Whale needs to get caught up. And I think that's basically everyone who I'm going to have do anything. Alright, Matthew, we'll just have him wait so it ends. There we go. Alright, so Legault's got one chest. He still needs to get the other one, and then he's going to try and come back our way. We're going to have Hector go over and do this. Then Connus is going to have to go up and deal with the mage next turn. Doesn't look like you're going to spawn any more... Oh, shit, they did. They spawned reinforcements. They spawned Pegasus Knights behind me. Sorry, Merlinus, you... Looks like you're about to die again. Um, as for you... Yep, yeah, that should be fine. I don't remember if they spawned any more reinforcements. Just in case they do, let's move Guy down. Just a little bit. Uh... Ba -ba 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 -ba. And we might as well send... Actually, no, I'm going to move Urk up. We can move him back if we need to, I suppose. And then Oswin's going to go up. Yora's going to go up. 
and Bartray is gonna go up. Cause not once we've recruited Legault and killed off this mage, I'm pretty much just gonna go straight for Darren. All my units are just gonna converge. This side is gonna go up and deal with these treasure chests and these two. But then everyone else is gonna go straight for him. Which means, admittedly, I should probably probably be moving Sane this way and moving Urk back around. Actually, if Sane comes this way, I just need I just need to do things and and stop overthinking them. All right, so he got the Luna, and they're go definitely going for Merlinus. That is absolutely a thing that's going to happen. Balls. You know, I'm going to wait and see if he actually goes for it. Oh, no, he might actually try to attack me now. 14, what's his defense? 5. So this, may this probably won't kill him, then. Uh, as for the rest of you, Hector's gonna move up. Ooh, now they're gonna go after Hector. I guess that's not a necessarily a terrible thing. Um, because if I can get Oswin to this side and get what's her name up and around, I can then heal. There we go. And no one else has spawned over here, so we're gonna move Lin out. We're gonna move Guy up towards these guys. And we're going to move Sane and Matthew towards the chests. Because I don't actually know how this guy plans on getting out of here. I think he just goes straight back up. Alright. Yep, he is perfectly fine. And he gets to attack him twice. And I'm going to send the Armor Slayer back. How's the Gulp planning on getting out of here is the question. Oh man, that's a lot of Pegasus Knights. That is way more than I thought was going to happen. Okay. Oh, he's just going to chill there, is he? That's fine. We'll have Elwood sit here and wait for him. And as for these guys... Uh, Fiora should be able to deal with them relatively easily. Probably isn't the greatest idea to do this way, but I'm going to... Actually, no, she hasn't taken that much. I'm going to hold her back for right now. Um, Burke's taking a bit of damage, and I may need him, so... I'll go there. Guy up. Guiding ring. Have Sane get prepared for these guys. And then move Will up as well. Okay, so everyone's pretty much in the position I need, need them to be. And it looks like Legault's not actually going to leave because I haven't blocked off. Oh, it's Poison Lance! It's a poison thing! Oh, that is so bad! I forgot that was a thing! Because he's going to take, like, I think five hit points every round now. Ooh, he went after Hector again. That could have been bad. That would have been game over if he had died. Okay. Heal Hector right now before we game over. I have come too far to game over, but without without getting further, I guess. Uh, yes, please kill him. Thank you. All right. What does Darren have currently equipped? All right, I have a plan. I have a plan. We are going to do this like. Yes, okay, I know how we're going to do this. We are going to do this um, assembly line style. Meaning Hector is going to need to be... I think right there, or we can just have Fiora do it, I guess. Because he only has a hand axe. And depending on what his resistance is, fairly high it seems, still might be able to do it. Still might work. Barrier Staff. What is his current HP? 19 out of... Okay. As long as I kill him here, we should be good. Poison for four rounds. Thank you, thank you for giving me that colorful description. I, I was really hoping you would show how many turns it lasted for, or no, how much damage it actually did per turn. And we're gonna talk to Legault. So we're gonna ask him to come and help us. And say that we'll pay him really well. I think 
I think that's what we do. <laughs> so he joins us and he'll help us out. He comes equipped with a steel sword, lock pick. Um, the other thing he comes equipped with is a light rune, which is really useful if you want to block off certain spaces. Um, I actually, I, I actually never used it before, but I probably will on this run. Um, and he also, he got a blue gemstone that we can sell. And Luna, which will be really, really useful for, um... Ooh, that's a possibility. That is definitely something we can do. We're gonna give you this skill book, and you're gonna give me this, um, magic stuff. Because then, here's my plan currently. Um... As I'll tell you in this next round, I guess. And bye-bye, Herlinus. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, that actually means... Ooh. That actually means we would be, almost be better off having Hector go over here. We'll start moving Eldowood out. The Galt will go out. Can you actually get past... Nope. Nope, not quite yet. I could have moved you where the Galt's moved, but I wasn't paying attention. Uh, so here's my plan. Here's my brilliant, brilliant plan. He's currently equipped with a silver lance. Fuck. Doesn't matter what he's equipped with, because I can't do shit to him. Although, it only takes me... It's only going to take me 93 experience to level up. Current damage is 15. His resistance... Wait, what? My damage is 15. His resistance is... How is he resisting me? That shouldn't work. No, because I have 15 damage from my... Just from fire alone. How is he resisting me? This shouldn't... I don't... I can't... That should do damage. That should freaking do... Oh, never mind. What about this guy? Can he actually... Yes, he can, but I'm not going to. Instead, we're going to start moving Sane around. How much damage... Okay, one point per round. That's not bad. That can be really easily healed. All right. We'll deal with that next turn. Yep, I'm basically just going to take this nice and slow. Uh, we're going to get Sane healed up first. You know what? Screw it. Matthew can just actually... Just in case something spawns over here, I'm going to move Matthew around. Connus is going to go up. Uh, Merck's going to need to move out of the way. Once this dude nuts can come back down here. We're gonna do this. Elwood is gonna come down here as well, just in case we need him. And now we just wait. Uh, actually, I'm just because I want to get Sane healed up before anything bad happens. Um, how many more turns? Two. Okay, so he's gonna lose two more hit points. I can deal with that. Alright. Will's gonna kill that one. Hector's gonna kill that one, I assume. And then we'll be able to deal with that next turn. Now. Now that this has happened, here's my cunning, cunning plan. We're going to use Luna to damage him with Kanis. Uh, yeah, kind of. Is that a critical? Am I about to one-shot this dude? <laughs> Almost! Wow! That did a lot more than I thought. Well, in that case, let's see if I can finish him off. Um, might not want to do it with him, though. Let's do it with Sane. Ugh. I hope one of these hits, or I'm gonna feel like a fucking jackass. Please, at least one of these hit. Thank you! Ho oh, ho, man! Well, that worked out better than I expected it to. Yeah, I didn't notice that I had a 26% crit chance. So, what I was about to say, what I was about to do, is I was pretty much gonna have Sane sit right here, like Oswin or Florina, or Fari Oswin or Fiora right here, I was gonna have him attack, then Sane was gonna save him, 
whoever was in this slot was going to take him from Sane and drop him right here, and then next turn I was going to do it all again, and then just assembly line it. No need to do that now, though. I've won. It's over. Everyone's dead other than those people off to the left, and quite honestly, fuck those people. I don't think anyone have, any of them have anything interesting. Oh, a short spear. I could get a short spear if I wanted it. Wanted it. I'm not desperate for a short spear, FYI, but I could get one. And Hector's going to crit with the Steel Axe. What a beautiful capstone on all of this. Ah, Saiyan's Heal the Poison. Beautiful. He's also level 18 now, so we're, we're dangerously close to upgrading him. Or promoting him. Which I really want to do. I really want to have another freaking Paladin since I lost Hector. Or, lost Marcus. I haven't lost Hector quite yet, and if I do, actually, that's game over, so... Uh, one more turn of waiting. He was insane. Consumed by his own lust. And now we're going to continue. Hey, we found El we found uh, Elbert. Where's Nils? Oh, Jafar showed up. Now, if memory serves, someone else actually shows up to fight um, Jafar on, on behalf of us. Oh, right, they're going to uh, summon a dragon using uh, Lord Albert's life force. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, we don't have to fight the dragon quite yet. That's not until later. And that's gonna be fun. That's probably gonna be the one that does me in, because it's gonna be... I'm gonna have to use Elwood to do it. And if Elwood dies, that's gonna be where the run ends. Assuming I even get that far. Hey, there's Nils! So we managed to stop the dragon from being summoned. And it takes down Ethadel with him. <clears throat> well, good luck getting past this now. You lost all your help. And, tragically, Elo's father doesn't make it. Get ready for the death well. Get ready for the death well. There it is. And luckily there's no actual audio for that, because that would be really annoying. I've never been a fan of death wells. I always find them just kind of tedious and obnoxious. So now we've got the twins back. Um, they're the super, the wonder twins, as I call them. And I was wrong. I, I thought that that arc actually went on for another episode. It doesn't. It only goes on for another chapter. It only goes to chapter 19. And now we're going to get into the next part. Um, skip past all this because they're just introducing each other. Yep. <laughs> Don't blame yourself. Bad things happened. Exposition about the Dragon's Gate. Basically, bl uh, the Black Fang are trying to summon a dragon back into the world to to destroy it so they can remake it in their image. It's kind of a standard bad guy plot. I mean, to be fair, if, if we weren't skipping past all this, if you want to play it yourself and get the full experience, I, I highly recommend it. Because even though I'm, I'm summarizing in a really poor way, it's actually not a not a bad setup. Um, 
it gets a bit obnoxious when they do it in every game after this as well, but, you know, at least in this one, it, it's still relatively fresh. Yep. Long bit of exposition. More about Lord Albert. Nadine shows up to comfort him. Apparently the default option for, um, you know, getting El Ellie Wood, um, you know, getting Ellie Wood set up at the end of the game, as it were, is Ninian. Which, actually, I'm kind of okay with, because they, they, they took a lot of time to set it up really early. Um, like, all the way back in the prologue missions, you can actually, um, for one of the side missions, or the only side mission in the prologue missions, um, it starts by Elliwood rescuing Ninian. And that's the first time you meet Elliwood. <clears throat> and now, something bad is happening. Enemies are showing up. Right. So that's all the exposition taken care of. <clears throat> yeah, in this game actually the story story is I, I do like the story. Um, but we're not I'm not playing this game so that people watching can experience the story. That's something you should really should do on your own time. I'm watching so you guys can watch me attempt to win this, losing as few people as, as possible, and and failing miserably. That's the intent behind this set of videos. But here we are, chapter twenty. And uh, just to kind of give you a little glimpse. This is what we're dealing with. There's Melissa, the fog of war, because it's nighttime. Which I actually kind of like. It, it makes a lot more sense than it ever does anywhere else in the game. But yeah, they got two ballistas. They got another uh, arena that I'm not going to be using. A um, couple villages to visit. Things to go, places to buy. I, you know, scratch that, reverse it. Um, so yeah, that'll all be next time, though. This, this part ran a little bit longer than I anticipated. Largely because I had to figure out how I was going to deal with reinforcements. But never mind. We're here now. And uh, next time we're going to crack on and do the next chapter. We didn't lose anybody. Didn't lose anybody this time. That's That just shows how awesome I really am. Uh, but thanks as always for watching, guys. I was Ben, and this was Fire Emblem. See you next time, everyone.